I think culture is the worldview is one way that we interact with reality. So for example, the physical environment was not just something to extract from, to take from. It was something that sustained us. And I think that's a very important value, particularly now as we're looking at climate change. Um, we have seen where the in extractive industry and taking needlessly without what we now call ecological accounting, where that has left us very vulnerable to the point where climate change is really the, the new existence, existential threat for all of us. But growing up, so it was, like I said, my mother, my father, my mother had her altars. And even though we grew up Roman Catholic, um, there was also a space within our spirituality that allowed us to manifest itself through rituals, such as giving um, incense and prayers to what we call the, 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 the spirits of nature. Um, and language was really important. And I didn't really realize this until I actually started writing the Mopan Grammar book. Um, in Guatemala, there has been, well, the, over the centuries, there have been attempts at documenting the Maya language, which, you know, Guatemala, Belize, Mexico have Maya people, and we have over 20 Maya languages, but we didn't have a unifying orthography for it. So when I started writing the Mopan, um, my, my contribution to that was looking well, I was amazed to find out, for instance, just how many loan words we had from Kechimaya, which really showed the intermarriage and the, the, the close relationship that we've had with that particular Maya group. But language is a fundamental way of screening the world 